Review, the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 350 Plus slips into the electric luxury mainstream. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. Mercedes already has grabbed the third rail of luxury by turning on the S-Class to electric power, we've taken you for a ride in that 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS and its AMG EQS upgrade. But what happens now, as it banks its benchmark midsize sedan into the same EV pocket? For 2023, the E-Class gets its own electric car companion in the form of the Mercedes-Benz EQE 350. It sports a similar battery, a single electric motor, a shrunken EQS-like design, and options that include the hyper-screen control interface and rear-axle steering. It'll need them as it takes on rival EVs with more range and quicker acceleration, such as the Tesla Model S and Lucid Air, as well as competitors from its own backyard, including the Audi e-tron GT and Porsche Taycan. A CLS-sized shape. The EQE breaks no new ground in terms of design. It left the heavy lifting to the EQS, which debuted last year. Inside and out, the EQE looks very similar to the EQS, but the headlights feature different LED daytime running lights that look more E-Class than S-Class. While the EQE still features a cab-forward design with a short hood, short rear deck, and a long cabin, the wheelbase is 3.5 inches shorter than the EQS with an overall length that matches that of today's CLS class. The distinctive black nose band across the front end carries over with an EQE distinctive treatment, and so does the full-width band of taillights, both EQ hallmarks. The well-groomed appearance of the EQE has more presence than the EQS because of the slightly abbreviated rear quarters. Still, it's apparent here as with the EQS that Mercedes penned the cleanest shape it could to extend the car's usable battery range. It's a soft and anodyne shape, not nearly as distinctive as the E-Classes of the recent past. Mercedes Vision EQXX concept demonstrates how EV range and sensual shapes can coexist, and underscore that the EQS and EQE are starting points as Mercedes learns how to design longer-range electric cars. The EQE interior looks like that in the EQS, too, but it's more dazzling even in default mode. A standard 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster is augmented by a 12.8-inch OLED touchscreen infotainment system. Mercedes 56-inch hyperscreen dashboard, which consists of a single pane of glass, a 17.7-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen for the passenger is an option. The glorious chaos of hyperscreen gets muted with the smaller screen setup, but it's to the EQE's advantage, it exposes square feet of dash trim that, in our test car, highlighted laser cut wood with pale blue checks. Nightclub-like LED lighting comes standard either way. Keeping it in the family. The EQE 350 Plus sets the initial pace for the US versions of the new midsize electric sedan, with more powerful models swinging on the on-deck circle. In the 350 Plus, a 90.6 kWh lithium-ion battery pack powers the single rear motor that produces 288 horsepower and 391 lb-ft of torque, which goes to the rear wheels through a single-speed transmission. Mercedes said the EQE will run 0 to 60 mph in 5.6 seconds on its way to an estimated top speed of 130 mph. Compared to the EQS 450 Plus, that's down about 10 kWh in pack strength, but a few tenths of a second quicker. Swift and nearly noiseless, the powertrain dupes the driver into forgetting speed limit signs, I'm waiting to see how much the bright speed camera light that flashed at me on some urban Frankfurt byway will cost. Paddle controls let the EQE slip through a range of regenerative braking modes, including one that adapts with navigation data to adopt the ideal ratio to extend driving range. Flipping through light Regen in small German towns for smoothness, kicking into heavy Regen mode for mountain switchbacks, the EQE skimmed through northern Frankfurt suburbs, flung itself around garbage trucks and Fiat minicars in passing zones without fault, and breezed up to 110 mph on the short stretches of Autobahn where the slashed white circle on the gauges indicated unlimited speed, though it left no room for a top-end 130 mph clip. 
When it's depleted, the EQE350 Plus battery needs 9.5 hours to recharge from 10% to 100% on a 240V Level 2 charger. That time drops to 32 minutes for a 10% to 80% charge on a Level 3 DC fast charger at 170 kilowatts. As for total driving range, the EQE hasn't been EPA rated yet, but we expect it to come in right around 300 miles when fully charged. Two other models should arrive within a year of launch. The EQE 500 Formatic adds a front motor and more than 100 horsepower, for a total of about 400 horsepower. It'll pale next to the EQE 53 AMG and its twin motor peak of 617 horsepower in 701 lbft of torque or 677 horsepower in 738 lbft with an available dynamic plus package. That translates to a 3.2 second 0 to 60 miles per hour in its quickest form, with 250 miles or more of driving range. In all forms, the EQE remains mid-pack in pack performance, well off the blistering acceleration and range numbers posted by Lucid and Tesla. But, as we've found, those important yardsticks don't measure the things the EQE can do better. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.